Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. No, we're not working on this big boy today, but the cow we are working on is in the chute and she has got a foot that is packed full of stones. And unfortunately, these stones have punctured through the sole into that corium layer and are causing a problem. So let's get to work cleaning this up. I get comments frequently about different ways to try to remove rocks and debris like this that do get embedded in the sole. Some have suggested using a pressure washer or something like that. The problem is that these rocks are, are compressed in there so tight. Remember, a cow weighs anywhere from 12 to 1600 pounds. So when that weight is forced down on those rocks, they're buried in there super tight. So the only real way to get them out is to dig about, dig out a little bit so you can get some hoof cut away, dig some more. You would never get them all removed with a pressure washer. Now, when you're thinking about stones becoming embedded in a foot, you may think a stone like this would be much more of a problem, but in reality, it's not. These types of stones here uh, tend to not penetrate as deeply into the foot. They stay, tend to stay in that solar layer. It's these smaller stones that can continue to penetrate, penetrate deeper and deeper into the foot that end up causing problems. You may think we've got them all, but honestly, we're not even close. Each layer that I remove reveals more and more of these tiny little stones embedded into each little crevice inside this uh, layer of solar horn here. Another question I get a lot has to do with the removal of loose horn on a foot. Why do I do it the way I do? How much should we take off? Things like that. And really when I'm working on a lesion like this or an abscess or an ulcer or anything like that, um, I get my guidance from um, different resources, uh, specifically vets, and I'll put a link in the uh, description below. You can read exactly. Um, this is from the uh, National Animal Disease Information Service. It's based in the UK. It's a bunch of vets that um, get together and they, they've come up with guidelines on animal welfare and how to treat different uh, lesions and stuff like that um, directly from their guide on that. But basically what you're going to find is pretty much exactly how I do it. I remove all of the loose horn that can be removed without damaging corium. And that's the key here. You don't want to cut into corium to try to remove some of this uh, soft tissue. 
um, because you're gonna end up causing more trauma than you need to. And ultimately that, that, that soft hoof layer will become hard over time and you can follow up on these and remove it much more safely at that time. So that's why I do it. Like I said, I'll put that link in the description below. You can read it and look at it for yourselves on that. And obviously with a lesion like this, we're gonna apply a rubber block to that other claw, like we do with a lot of different uh, lesions, whether it be ulcers or abscesses, or in this case, uh, puncture caused by rocks, but it's gonna alleviate all of the weight from that injured claw and put it on that good claw. Gives this uh, claw here time to rest and time for that soft layer um, of horn that's there to become hard and not put pressure on that corium from the bottom side. So get a block on there and we'll zoom in here closer so you can get a good look at this lesion and see all of these different ridges of soft horn. You can almost visually see where each pocket of rocks was in this um, location, in these locations. But you can see this is all real soft tissue. You don't wanna be cutting into that. Um, it, like I said, it's gonna get hard over time. We can always come back and clean this up over time, but we've got this opened up now so we can get that infection out of there. We've gotten the debris out of there now. I'm just gonna clean up these edges a little bit and then we're gonna put a salicylic acid wrap on this just to clean up any of the uh, digital dermatitis bacteria that may have gotten in there over time and uh, to give her a little bit of pain relief in the short term. As I've mentioned in previous videos, the wrap is not really part of the healing process here. All this wrap is doing is holding that salicylic acid in place. It's not keeping the foot clean. Really all it's doing is holding that, that powder in place so it can do its job and keeping large debris from entering that, uh, those cavities and packing back in there in the short term. As that hoof hardens, this will become a uh, non-issue and that wrap's gonna come off. Now that this girl's foot's done, we're gonna let her get back to her day. And we're gonna let you get back to your day. As always guys, thanks for watching and we will see you all on the next one.